According to the Chief of Army Staff, the news of the surrendering of the Boko Haram insurgents was a clear indication that the Nigerian military had won the war against insurgency in the Northeast. This is coming at a time the Army is remembering those who paid the supreme price for the unity of the nation. I received the good news that about 700 Boko Haram terrorists within the fringes of the Sambisa forest have surrendered. And some of them are in the process of surrender. So this is a clear indication that the Boko Haram war, or the war against the Boko Haram terrorists or the insurgency is clearly being finally uh, won. Speaking on the photo and act exhibition of various artworks and artifacts which explain the rich history of the Nigerian army from inception to the present day Nigerian army, the army chief said the event will provide opportunity to members of the public to appreciate the contribution and achievement of the army, particularly in the ongoing war against the Boko Haram sect. Documented history acts as a bridge between the past, the present, for effective future planning. It is an effective way of allowing the populace relate with the feelings of truth. In a keynote address, the head of the civil service of the Federation, Mrs. Winifred Oyoita, commend the Nigerian soldiers for their gallant performance in liberating towns hitherto under the control of the insurgents. Oh, there's so much they are doing, but I think what is worth celebrating right now is the freedom that has come to the, the uh, northeast that has been under the attack of the insurgents. Now we understand that uh, over 700 uh, Boko Haram have, have you know, surrendered and more are finding their way to the uh, army uh, camps to surrender. Among the many artifacts in display was the armor personnel carrier used by the Nigerian army during the 30 months old Nigerian Civil War. Dominic Ayemese, ITV News, Abuja.